Thanks for tuning in to Moonshine Gaming. In this walkthrough, we're going to be going over how to get all the platinum badges in level one of Oddworld Soulstorm. So there's a couple things you need to do to get these platinum badges. You have to loot 20 crates. You have to find the four secret areas. And you also need to find the 11 royal jellies. So you're going through how to do all that. The first little section of this level is there's nothing you're just kind of running through it getting used to the controls and right here is your first royal jelly and a couple crates that you can loot so you can loot three crates at the bottom here hop up to that ledge on the left that's your fourth crate hop up and there's your first royal jelly now you're going to want to get your water out here and clear this fire Pop up and continue on down through the level. You're gonna run here. If you hop to that middle platform, there's one crate you can loot. Then you're gonna want to roll under here. Uh, grab the second royal jelly. There's another crate. Now you're gonna hop up. Just be careful of those fl falling balls. If they hit you, they'll kill you. Uh, this is the third royal jelly hop down again. Be careful of the balls. They drop in both of those sections there if they hit you, you I think you'll die immediately Wait for that thing to drop down jump down uh, Nothing down there. So just hop up and continue on Continue up here hop up grab these swing things continue along you can drop down here to get a crate now keep in mind you need to loot 20 crates but there's way more than 20 crates in this level so you can skip a few if of the ones that I get and there'll be plenty more to get I think there's probably like 30 but you only need to get 20 to get the platinum continue up here hop over the fire uh, you can drop down here again to loot another crate. Hop up and across the swings. Keep in mind you can hold R1 to sprint. It does say that at the beginning, but I didn't even notice that the first time I, I played through this level, so it's good to know that you can hold R1 to sprint. So yeah, there was a crate and another royal jelly. Here's another crate here. Hop up and over. Get rid of this fire with your water. Continue over. And now you swing across these and this is the one royal jelly that most people miss. You need to actually wait here a minute for that uh, bridge to burn down. And then you climb down and there's the royal jelly at the bottom right. get rid of this fire here or else it'll probably kill you that's why uh, if you saw a little cut in the video there it's because I died a few times <laughs> trying to do that continue across the level hop over there's a box there but there's nothing the only thing in it is some uh, of the green liquid that lights on fire nothing special in that box uh, you can drop down here loot another crate here Now this is your first secret area right there and also another royal jelly in that section. Drop down, there's one crate to loot there, another two crates here to loot. And you can break these by pressing square uh, and they give you some of the green brew which is the flammable liquid that you use to light stuff on fire and do stuff like that. <laughs> Explode walls that you can't get through. I just use some water here to clear the area. Continue on. 
drop down here. There's another crate that you can loot. Another crate here. And you gotta use that flammable brew again to um, blow up this wall. Use some water here to get rid of the fire and just wait for that wall to come down. And keep on trucking. Gonna hold or press square here to grab this pulley and then uh, and then you just press up. You don't actually need to hold square. I thought you did at first and then I discovered you didn't have to. Uh, this is the second royal jelly that is missable or at least that I missed my first time through. You have to cl climb up the two levels there uh, and the royal jellies at the top. And that's also a secret area up where that royal jelly is. There's another royal jelly underneath it. There, continue up these platforms. There's a another lootable crate. Here's another royal jelly up to the right and another secret area. And now up to this raising platform. Uh, continue to the right here, avoiding the fire, another raising slash lowering platform, lower yourself down. Continue across here, avoiding the fire, uh, I think, yeah, there's a crate down here that you can loot. And that's all 20 of the crates. As you can see in a little bit, you'll see there is some more uh, crates that you can loot. So there's not exactly 20, like I said before. There's, um, there's a couple more. There's another one. And you can hop up and drop down. There's another crate here behind this wall. And there's a jelly right below there. Another crate. There's another royal jelly and I believe that's the last, yep, that's the last royal jelly. Just be careful if you jump over the fire there, it's pretty easy to get hit by the fire. And the last secret area is up here on the left. Uh, I blow this wall up first, and then I go up. Hop up here, hop up to the left. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I did the water for it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Keep going up here, and this is the last secret area with a couple of lootable crates there. And that will give you all the platinum badges. Now it's just getting to the end of the level you pretty much just run for the for the rest of the level here running up the swings keep running keep running and now you just run right to the end you see the end is just at the top of this hill here And that's it. That's how you get all three of the platinum badges in level one, the raid of the Monziac. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but yeah, that's how you get all the platinum badges.